Welcome, everybody, to our UW Esports Games of the Week. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here with you guys tonight, and I'm excited to get into it. Tonight, we're going to be bringing you all our Rocket League team as they play in the CRL Open Qualifiers. Uh, tonight, we are going to be playing against Louisiana State University in the semifinals of this tournament. Um, as you all know, our esports program seeks to build and foster community, open doors to the vast career opportunities in the field of gaming, and promote the virtues of healthy competition. Through esports, we are able to communicate with one another, forming and developing digital communities that we find so very necessary in these challenging times that we have and are facing. We hope you enjoy being a part of our community, and we invite you to get more involved. You guys can follow us here on our Twitch uh, or on basically any other social media platform at U of Wa Esports. 
There's also a Discord server. You can get that from the bot if you're interested in joining and kind of getting behind the scenes. Now to introduce ourselves, I am Hydra K9, otherwise known as Caleb. I'm currently a second year at the University of Washington. I will be one of your casters for the night. Uh, and I'm Kaz, also known as Vin. Um, I'm a freshman at the University of Washington, and I'll be your other caster for tonight. All right, Kaz, this is actually a really exciting series. I'm going to spoil it a little bit. This is not live. This is pre-recorded, um, but this is definitely a great set to watch. I got a sneak peek of it while they were playing it last week, uh, and it was very intense, very exciting. Um, and I know that the entirety of the Rocket League community on that side of, of UW Sports was definitely talking about it afterwards. Uh, did you happen to catch any of it? Uh, I did actually. Yeah, I was there. Um, yeah, it was it was crazy. <laughs> it was it was a really good game. Uh, like, yeah, it, really exciting opponents. Um, you know, just a good team overall. Um, yeah, I think the opponents are definitely important to talk about because there's one name that sticks out in particular. We actually have a professional Rocket League esports player playing for uh, E United. Um, Ajax is is on the LSU team uh, representing his college uh, and, you know, up against ours as well. And that, I mean, that can be really intimidating if you're a bunch of, you know, college esports players and all of a sudden you have a professional player on the other team. Uh, you know, that, that can be really tough. Yeah, for sure. Um, it was definitely like with Ajax being there, it definitely, uh, you know, was telling that this was going to be a tough game. Um, so it was really exciting to see uh, UW, you know, go against that and, and see what they could do, you know? Yeah, and I, I mean, we don't uh, we don't want to spoil anything for anybody um, because these are definitely fun, fun games to watch. Uh, and, you know, we'll be keeping an eye on our players, but also on the other side to, you know, see just what a pro player is like, see just how fast, uh, mechanical and, you know, head in the game they really can be. Uh, and I think it, it'll be an interesting set to get into. So without further ado, I think we should get into game one here. Yep. All right. So if you're if you're a wizard here, Kaz, you know, captain for UW, what what are you telling your players to, you know, keep them from getting a little intimidated by that name there on the other team? I mean, at the end of the day, he's just another Rocket League player. Um, I'd say the best thing for them to do right now is to just calm down and, and play their best game. Because, I mean, you know, it's not like UW players are, are bad at all. You know, they can definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, with Ajax and, and his teammates, you know? so No, I, I definitely agree. Yeah. Be able to calm down and, and stay head-focused, you know? Yeah, I think that they are already starting this game off very focused as they are maintaining quite a decent defense there and able to get that clear out Vixie off the wall there. It looked like he was trying to get the flip reset, but wasn't able to grab it. We've got Wizard here on the wall. Plays this one into the corner. A nice clear by Raven there. Bit of a confusing car color there from Whale. Uh, but he does get the clear here. Ball downfield. It's going to give him some time to get some boost. Big up for that ball. A nice touch there that leads to a ball out. Well, with a good 50. The ball played to corner by LSU. It's definitely controlled so far. I think that the, the speed of play is, is a bit diminished from what we normally see from UW. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think that they're playing this pretty well and just kind of maintaining their space, maintaining control. Yeah, it's a pretty even game so far. I mean, nothing too spectacular. I think UW is doing a really good job in putting the pressure on uh, LSU. But um, LSU is definitely able to come back very fast, like we just saw there. Um, the mechanics from LSU really popping off right now. Um, so... I mean, that's what this game is going to be about, you know? Uh, that was a crazy pass. That thing yeah, had that was, some that speed to it. I don't know how he got that. <laughs> that those wall pinches can be crazy as I say that. Brown up for that one. Going to be able to drop that down right in behind the UW defender. And that's going to bring the score up 1-0 to zero in favor of LSU. Definitely anybody's game here, though. Two minutes and 40 seconds left. Plenty of time to get one back if you're UW. Yeah. 
Ajax with a nice pass there. Good look. Thrown up for this ball, but Vixie with a good backboard read. Getting that clear. Wizard with a nice demo buying his teammates some time. Ball down. Wizard with a redirect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that? That was insane. The power. I want to I want to see that again, but I can't. And that's what sucks. <laughs> I, I don't know how he got. Oh, and another. And goal. another one there, too. Bring the score up yeah. two to one. They're popping off. That reader, I, I, I'm i still on two goals ago. Like, that that redirect was crazy. Yeah, that redirect so, is insane. And there it is, tying it back up. Uh, looks like Raven's going to take another one. That, that I mean, that shows these players, like, after a play like that, after a crazy shot, they're still able to keep their head in it and, you know, regain here. Dixie with the ball off the wall, a good carry. Ajax very patient here, taking a good 50, but Wizards able to follow that one up. Brown plays this one out. Bit awkward there from Vixie. Wizard playing the ball off the back wall. Vixie catching this one, good patience there, choosing to play this one around the defense. Bit of an interesting touch there from Wizard. I don't know if that's exactly what he was going for, but it does lead to Vixie able to carry this one out. Beats two with one carry, but ball downfield. Ajax up for this one. Ball down and a good pass, but Whale is in net. Wizard with a good clear out. Ajax up for that, but Wizard much faster. toe with these pro players just like you were saying oh yeah for sure i have no doubt in, in the boys you know <laughs> i don't think there's any reason to doubt them at all and i i know for certain that they do queue against uh you know pro players and occasionally pro teams in their ranked matches um i hear them talk about it occasionally and a nice yeah. shot there from ajax well placed top right Players, uh, our UW players definitely have experience playing against professional players. Uh, but again, I mean, in a tournament setting like this, it can be that much more intimidating. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it seems like UW's having a tough time uh, getting most of the control. I don't know. It seems to me that LSU's getting a lot more stable control. This could be a, a shot opportunity, though. Yeah, a bit of an open net there off that demo, and it you know it leads to a goal there for tying that up with 17 seconds left, actually. Didn't even notice. Too much going on, too many goals scored. It's hard to keep track of what the score is, even though those numbers are right there in front of my face. Flipper set opportunity, but Wizard able to read that one. Played to the wall. Seven seconds left. It's possible that we get some extra Rocket League here. Ball out there, and it is going to drop down. 3-3 three to three overtime in game one here. What are you seeing that's, uh, that's making this so evenly matched, you think? I mean, from my perspective, it seems like uh, UW is... Well, actually, I, I would I prefer to say that LSU is doing a really good job at keeping control and baiting out uh, UW's players. <laughs> um, yeah. They they seem to be just able to hit it to their to their players and like right there if if LSU can't get a hit on it then they're either demoing or they're gonna fifty. Yeah, and I think that UW is doing a good job of reading the play. Uh, I think we've seen lots of passes get intercepted before they can become too much of a threat. And as I say that, that's a bit of a dangerous ball, but well with a nice little bounce there. I'm gonna be up for this one and Bixie trying to intercept it, and that's what I'm saying. Those players are up for these plays. But UW is doing a great job of getting in the way uh, and reading the play as it's developing instead of waiting for it to happen. Wizard with the ball to the wall. A bit of an opportunity here. Touchdown. Ajax waiting on that one. Taking a really good 50 there that might lead to a goal here. But Whale is able to get back in time and clear this one out. Already a minute of extra Rocket League. Uh, this is where the heart starts racing once you start to get deep into these overtimes, uh, especially with games as intense as this. As I say that, Ajax with a nice flip reset 
passing that one off to Raven. Awkward for our boys, but they are able to clear that one out. Yeah, that, that is this a ball off backboard. Game. Yeah, I mean, the control there, uh, the sight for looking for those passes, it's definitely uh, very entertaining to watch. As I say, that a nice shot on, but Whale with a great save, playing that one out to corner and to Vixie. Wizard looking for those demos. Definitely a good heads up play from Wizard there. Now a bit of a dangerous ball here. Brone puts that up, but Vixie is off the backboard and plays that one out, saving Whale from a bit of an awkward situation. Now UW is struggling with the boost control on their half and just getting this ball out in general. Lots of pressure here. Two minutes of overtime and two minutes almost of defense for UW. Ball up, pinched out by LSU. Vixie up for the shot, just popping that one high. Whale plays this one off the backboard, giving UW a bit of time here. A good leave there from Wizard. Leads the ball, boom downfield. Brown puts this one up. Whale missing, but Wizard there. Bit of a double commit, but it works out. Man, two, two minutes and 50 seconds of overtime here. Uh, I would not be able to control my nerves, I don't think. Uh, against a, a game this with this much high pressure and this like the stakes that are involved, yeah, this would be really, really tough to go into the first game into. Uh, three minutes? Yeah, I mean, three minutes of extra game time, that, that's a lot of pressure. Uh, especially, you know, up against a, a team like LSU, who are very competitive. Um, you know, expected to qual for CRL. Uh, and, you know, we have our UW team, which is fighting for their first qualification uh, in this tournament. It, it can be really tough when you get into these games and know what's on the line. As I say that, dangerous ball, but Vixie with good patience. Wizard trying to take a demo there. Not able to find a player. Ball high over UW's net. Raven takes a shot on three players for that one, and one of them does get the save. UW looks a bit panicky here as they are stuck on defense. A good demo there from Wizard. The wow. bump works out. Vixie carries that one over, and they are able to fight out of that defensive play and finally put one up to win them game one there in this best of five series. But a crazy way to start it out. Yeah, that was a really exciting game. That was really good. Yeah, and I mean that... That shot from Wizard, I I can't stop thinking about it. That was insane. That redirect, especially that low on boost. I mean, we just saw his boost meter before that. It had to have been like, uh, I think 12 or 20. And able to get up for that one, use the flip and put that much power on the redirect. God, I mean, that was crazy. Yeah, I don't know how <laughs> he gets a touch on that at all. Um, I honestly just wasn't expecting that. That was a really, really good touch. Uh. There's just nothing you can do about that. When a player gets a kind of touch like that and then just sends it flying at the net, it's kind of like, well, it's just going in, you know? You yeah, you, you just kind of watch it unfold, appreciate how great it is, and then go on to the next goal. Because um, I think everyone in the lobby can appreciate how nice of a redirect that was. Um, but, I mean, they, they did not give up there. LSU brought it back, scored two quick goals right after that, tied it up. Um, or, no, brought it up one goal, and then UW ties it up. And brings it into overtime and then we get three and a half minutes of extra game time in game one so that shows just how close these two teams are yeah that, absolutely. i mean insane rocket league already uh and i'm really excited to get into game two and see just how much more intense this series can get if you're lsu what are you doing differently here or do you think they even really need to do anything different at all uh, I, this is going to sound a little harsh, but I think they just need to score. Um, <laughs> I, and I know that sounds weird, but UW was on defense for a solid, uh, what felt like an hour. Yeah, game, true. <laughs> and they, they couldn't finish their, their shots. I don't, I don't know if, well, yeah, most of their shots were just being saved from UW, which is, you know, props to UW. They made it extremely hard and that actually might be. Say that and Wizard puts one in. Brings wow, the score up one to zero. Thirty seconds into that match, it's a good way to start it up if you're UW. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, like UW did a really good job at defending, but you know if you're LSU here, just try to 
be better with your shot placements um, and try to try to look for the mistakes that UW is making. Um, yeah. yeah, I definitely think I can can agree with you there. They had a lot of opportunities last game. I did not uh, get a chance to take a look at that scoreboard and see how many shots on they had, but it, it, it had to be double digits because they were yeah really hammering UW's defense. And the fact that they didn't put one in is like you said, I mean, not only UW's great defense there, um, they, they were a bit panicky, you know, triple committing, double committing here and there. As I say that, up for that shot, but not able to get it over Bixie, the second defender there. And it does not lead to a goal. But, uh, you know, they the, UW was definitely panicky and definitely gave LSU enough opportunities to put one in and end that overtime. Uh, and as you were saying, LSU just wasn't converting. As I say this, Brown up for that one, but a good 50 by Bixie. While bouncing awkwardly, Ajax passes that one down. It's going to get carried out by Raven here. Brown intercepts that one. A good handoff there from those two players. Ajax, Ajax plays the ball downfield. Whale in net. Good touch to corner. This is a bit awkward if you're Wizard, but he knows that he has time and plays that ball out. Good flick as well. And UW is back on the offensive. Brown plays this ball high. Vixie with a bit of a side flip there. But Wizard on backboard, able to clear that one out. Vixie with a pass downfield. Brown up for that one. Plays it to side wall. And Raven plays that one back. Whale getting a nice boomer clear. But it is not enough. Lots of back and forth here. Uh, I don't think either team is really controlling. Yeah. Um. Okay, I thought that was almost a goal. <laughs> but, um... Okay, that's... <laughs> Bit of a bit of an open net there. We had three UW players all racing back to net, but it works out. Yeah, but like you were saying, like that's a perfect example. Is this is a really back and forth game so far? Um and oh that a good that fake there from Ajax. Really wow. Really uh terrible. understanding the site and and the defense, uh, you know, having good vision on that field and knowing the fake is gonna work out there, that is a very, very nice fake. And it allows for LSU to put their first goal on. And as I say that, Brown up for that one, but Vixie reading and clearing that one out. Ball down to Ajax. Ajax up for this. Wizard with a good intercept there, and Vixie is able to play this one out to the wall. The threat is gone for a second, but not for long, as it is now back in front of UW's net. Vixie low on boost here, trying to get the flick out, but not able to get any power on it as Whale clears this one to center. Ajax tries to put it on, but a bit of a whiff there, and that is going to be UW's opportunity to clear this one out. All it takes is one little mistake, and uh, the game can completely shift. Wizard plays this one on, and no one is up for that. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a free goal there. I'm going to assume low boost. Couldn't really see anyone's tanks there, but it does work out, as that brings them up 2-1 to one in the series. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Honestly, I thought that um, LSU was going for a pass. A great save there. By really Wizard. Cool. I think that might have been Vixie, actually. I'm not 100% sure. And another one on. LSU is not going to let them have that lead for long as they now tie it up 2-2 two to two with a minute left. Yeah, LSU is doing a really good job at passing to their players. Um, and they have a really, really good chemistry. They know that their players are going to be there. So they're always passing it down to them. Uh, so I feel like it could be harder for UW to position them, position themselves in places where they might normally, you know, find like uncomfortable, um, just so they can block off the pass. Yeah, I think that they are having to intercept those passes, like you've been saying. I mean, a pass can be a really big threat. Um, it, it can be very confusing if you're a defender. Uh, that ball is changing directions a lot, and if you've ever picked up Rocket League for the first time. You understand how difficult it is to tell where the ball is going until you really start to, you know, get some hours in the game and get a feel for what's happening. Yeah. Um, and that immediately, like, that sense of not understanding can come back off of just a simple two-man passing play uh, because the ball is changing directions so much. And it looks like we might even see a second overtime here in game two. Ball downfield, Raven up for this one, and it's going to touch ground. That brings us into our second overtime of the series. 
But as I was saying, I mean, the, those passing plays can be oh. so threatening in a short overtime indeed as Whale takes that cheat and finishes off game two for UW, bringing them up two to zero in the series. One game away from taking this uh, this semifinal away from LSU. Yeah, that was a, a really quick overtime. Yeah, I, I mean, like two seconds is all it takes to, to get a goal in Rocket League. And, you know, occasionally you will say, oh, they're, they're down three goals with a minute left. It's totally doable. And it, it's a bit half-hearted sometimes, but it really is possible. It's always possible. The Rocket League goals can be scored uh, in an instant, right off of kickoff, off of some weird touch. And there's really no predicting just how many goals you could score in one game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, good on you, Dub. Uh, I mean, they they won the kickoff, and that's like you were saying, like in Rocket League, that's all it takes sometimes. It's just the kickoff, you just go your way, and then you just score. So yeah, I mean, working on those kickoffs, so it, it seems like a diminished part of the of the game, uh, because you know you only do it a couple of times a game, whereas you know aerials and dribbles, things like that, they happen constantly, but. It can be really pivotal in a match. So, like working on those kickoffs, these players spend time practicing that stuff. Um, every game, they get lots of practice going for as many kickoffs as they can, and it, it can really change the outcome of a match. You lose a couple kickoffs here, you win a couple more there, and all of a sudden, it's a three-goal lead or a two-goal deficit uh, just because you took a bad kickoff or took a good one. But I think that UW did a great job there, uh, you know, maintaining under pressure. We saw it in game one, three and a half minutes of constant defense from UW, and then finally taking their opportunity, opportunity to convert and score their goal to, to come out of that overtime. And then it's, again, in game two, they were stuck on defense, uh, almost panicking, um, but maintaining that control, maintaining the, the headstrong toughness that we know they have uh, and coming out of it with a goal in overtime. So it'll be interesting to see if LSU changes their mindset at all, changes their play style, and if UW can really keep their heads in it for another game. So I think with that with that said, we should get into game three here. Now, LSU is one game away from being knocked out of this. Uh, so they are fighting here to stay in the CRL qual. As I say that, an opportunity here for them, but they are not able to convert a nice save there from Vixie. Vixie with the flip reset. My gosh. Don't think he got it there. Uh, it it might have been, but either way, not able to use it before LSU is intercepting that. Vixie up for the ball in the corner, touching that off of the wall, trying to get another touch here. Awkward, but Brone B is able to carry this one out. Ball 15 in front of net. Whale with a nice touch, but Ajax with a nice read. Good patience there. Trying to touch center, but not able to. So Raven gains control here. Carries this ball downfield for LSU. Roan plays this one over Wizard Vixie in net. Passes over to Whale. Downfield to Ajax, who gets a nice clear. Lots of power on that one. Completely switching their defense back to offense. But again, back downfield. And already we're seeing that back and forth that we saw last game. Brown up for this one and a bit of a read, not able to get a touch there. But a dangerous ball and another pass there from Ajax. Vixie able to clear this one out. UW on the back foot here. Whale reading that one off the wall, carrying this one out of their half and over the head of Ajax. Yeah, Ajax, Ajax is doing a really good job at getting this ball to his players and making UW's defense as awkward as possible. Um... Really, UW is, seems to be just in their net, uh, just kind of waiting for the ball a lot of the time. And it's I, th I think personally that it's because of Ajax and his, his passes to his team. Yeah, I think that, you know, if you're, if you're playing it at the professional level of Rocket League, you do get to see uh, not only more Rocket League because it's your job now, uh, you're going to be playing constantly, but also a higher level of play. And as I say, that Wizard puts one in, putting the first one on for uh, UW and bringing them up 1-0 in this game and one goal closer to closing out this series.
Whale plays this ball downfield. Wizard reading that one and putting it on net, but Raven with a nice save. But as we were talking about, Ajax, you know, gets to see that higher level of play and gets to play with higher level players. Uh, his teammates on E United definitely uh, a force to be reckoned with, to say the least. And an awkward ball here, and they are able to convert. If that one didn't go in, I think you would have been correct that they just cannot score goals, but they prove it as Raven puts that one in and ties it up one to one. Ball down to Ajax. Ajax tries to put this one on and gets the double touch. Wow, an amazing yeah. read there. Man, a crazy shot. That was off the pass, redirected to the wall on that corner, having to get around that ball and then putting that one in. That just shows the level of control that Ajax has on the field. Thrown up for this one, playing this one to sidewall. Raven tries to beat Vixie, but Vixie too quick. And ball 50 in front of LSU's net. Wizard carrying this one out of UW's half. One more touch is possible here. Down to Whale. Whale a bit awkward. It looks like he got bumped by Ajax on the way out. Ball bounces mid in favor of UW here, but Raven with a nice 50, able to get that one to sidewall. Whale with good speed, but just missing that one. Now it looks like LSU has the opportunity here to counterattack, but Wizard quickly intercepts that one. And we're back to the back and forth that we are used to seeing between these two teams. Brown puts that one mid. Ajax with good control here. Bit of a mistouch, but a good patience. Not quite working out. Wizard tries to get up to that one, but a bit of a, a misread. Puts Vixie in a tough position here, taking 50s in the corner. Eventually winning that battle, but Raven is there to quickly intercept that ball as it comes out of UW's half. But a bit of a mistouch there from Ajax. Not something we expect to see as Wizard puts that one on and ties it 2-2 two two again. Wow, that, that is unlucky. But that just shows the, the caliber of, you know, the Rocket League that we're seeing right now. I mean, literally one tiny mistake. And it's just a huge blunder. And you just get scored on. Yeah, especially a touch like that. A bit of a pass down yeah. uh, with Wizard following that. I mean, that's going to lead to a goal in, in most ranks, especially this one where players are so keen on counterattacking and recognizing those mistakes. Bit of a miscommunication there between Vixie and Whale. Forces Whale to go up for that ball. Ajax up for this one. And awkward for UW's defense. And I think the panicking is getting to them a bit here as LSU is now up a goal in game three. Yeah, I definitely think that the, the nerves are, are starting to, to set in. I mean, one more game if they win this one with the last 10 seconds left and they could knock out a huge team here. As I say, the Dole Whale puts right. one on and ties it up. They are not giving up. Neither team wants to lose this one and they want extra Rocket League. They want overtime. And it looks like they are probably going to get it here. Four seconds left. Whale with one last counter attack, carrying this one up, but cleared out by Broom B. It looks like this is probably going to touch ground here as Raven kills it. Three games in a best of five already. Three games with overtime. Three games uh, with one goal differences. Yeah. This is as close as two teams can be. Ajax with the flip reset there. Not quite getting one. He plays this ball down and buys UW some time to collect some boost. Big clear out, leaving Vixie. Last one back. Getting a good touch there over Ajax. Well, with a good read off of that touch. Ball high for LSU, but Vixie with a good read off the back wall. Playing that one out. Ajax off the back wall again. Getting a redirect there, but Wizard intercepting Brown's touch into net. Now, I think what you were saying, though, about the nerves is definitely something to talk about. You may, you know, if you, if you haven't been in a, a situation like this, you may think like, oh, up two games. Uh, one more to win it. All we got to do is close this out. You're not that nervous. But I think that is one of the moments where a player's nerves can be at their highest. You know that all you have to do is win one more game. Uh, and as most people would put it, you just have to not throw. Uh, but it can be so hard to not throw when 
one game is all that remains in between you and winning. Um, it, it can be so mentally draining to know that you have to hold out for one more whole game um, and come out on top of that. And if you lose it, you give that team their chance to to come back and get that reverse sweep. Yeah, absolutely. I, I agree 100%. Uh, especially with a, a team as as good as this one. I mean, we've talked about Ajax like a lot this entire broadcast, but <laughs> both of his teammates are amazing as well. They, Brown and Raven are both amazing players and they've allowed Ajax to do what he's able to do and they've all been able to to completely play on their own. Yeah, I think you're definitely correct there. I think Without two other great players on the field, Ajax is not going to be able to play to a pro level. Exactly. Um, I think that it, it really requires good cohesive team play, um, understanding each other, and knowing what, what your teammates are capable of, and having teammates that are very capable uh, to really play at a professional level. And I think both teams are showing that here. I mean, Ajax has a great team to back him up. And I think that UW is doing a great job of showing them that, that they can play at this level too. They can play at this speed. They aren't scared of the pro player on the field. Brown B up for this one. A good touch there, but Wizard with good speed up for that. No one is following, and it looks like LSU is going to have a free ball here. Dixie with a good 50, ball down. Ajax with great speed there, beating Whale and Wizard. But Vixie is on wall, ready for that touch, and another great touch there! Just touched out by Whale. Dixie plays this ball downfield. Ajax ready to receive. Good catch. One boost here, though. Forced to rotate out, but instead going for the bump. Not what I would expect, but it may work out here as Brown forces Vixie and Whale to go up for that ball. Raven with a ball to Ajax. Gives Wizard an opportunity here. Flip reset, but not able to finish that one off. And again, three and a half minutes of overtime. Yeah. These are some of the longest games of Rocket League I think that I have ever had to cast. Uh, and probably the longest that I've seen. Especially from UW. I don't th think that they are a long overtime team. I think we do see overtime from them a lot. Uh, sometimes because they fight back and sometimes because they lose their lead. Um... But I think that they tend to finish it off pretty quickly. So seeing four minutes of overtime from them, oh, no. definitely something I'm not used to. And as I say that, oh, no. you saw it, I saw it. A bit of a, a miscommunication there causes Vixie to bump Whale in net. And that save cannot be made. And that is going to be the first game for LSU. Uh, bringing this series 2-1 to one in favor of UW. Um, but definitely a... A bit of a, a an interesting series to say the least three consecutive overtime games one with a very quick overtime but two with very long intense overtimes uh it's definitely got my heart racing already and i know how this turns out so uh, I, i'm sure for everybody watching it can definitely be exciting yeah for sure i mean either way uh being able to look on this again it's still really good rocket league and to know you know that they were in the the calls against one of the best teams in the in their pool uh was it is still amazing to to see them uh play against them and go toe to toe with these players um i mean they're doing a really great job yeah i i think that already even if even if you don't come out on top of a series like this it is a series to be proud of i mean you close it out there, that's a great series. We win 3-0 against a team of really great players. Uh, you close it out here, you you won three games against really great players. You you know had a really close game three with them. Uh, but, I mean, you get reverse swept even. This was already one of the greatest series I've seen UW play. Um, and even if they don't come out on top of this, it's one to be proud of. Absolutely. I mean... At the, at the very end of the day, yeah, like you said, it, it's an amazing series, and it shows what the players need to work on. Um, these uh, these guys, uh, you know, LSU is definitely putting them to the test, and they're able to, you know, hopefully you was able to see, you know, where their mistakes lie, and, uh, and they're able to, to work on that in the future. Yeah, I definitely think one of the biggest things that we've seen as a problem for UW against LSU so far 
is just getting stuck on defense. They aren't finding their opportunities to get their clears. They're doing a great job of holding down the fort while they search for that opportunity. Um, but it's taking them just a bit too long every single time to get that ball out. Uh, and it's leaving us on the edge of our seat as we have to just sit there and watch shot after shot after shot come in, saved and saved and saved, until we saw in game three, finally, they did not come out on top in terms of saves to shots ratios. Um, and, it, you know, it ends in a goal for them. And I think that that is the one spot that they are struggling the most here is just getting out of their own half. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I agree. But I think with that, we can see if they are able to fix that as we go into game four here. Already a good kickoff for you, Dub. Dixie with a good challenge there, but Brown with a good 50 as well. A bit awkward there for Ajax in mid. Wizard up for this one, putting it to side, but Brown is there to read it. And a nice touch is going to lead to another pass. And Raven gets the shot in to finish that one off. Ooh. I saw a bit of lag on the players. Yeah, I I do know that, you know, occasionally it's going to happen. Uh, you're going to get a bit of lag. This is an online game. But oh it's God. not going to stop Whale as he gets the Musty off the sidewall. And is able to put that one in to tie it up one to one. That is like the third or fourth amazing shot that we have seen this series. I mean, we saw the great redirect from Wizard. We saw a great double touch from Ajax. And then a musty sidewall from Whale. I mean, it is just great Rocket League. I don't know what else to say. That is, it's just so crazy how well these players are playing. I mean, it's really cool to see. I mean, we talk about LSU and how their players have good mechanics, but then we see Whale just pop off and freestyle in a calls game. So, yeah. <laughs> that was really cool. Maybe we'll see like a team pla pass, triple flip reset, um, yeah. musty double touch with like, what? what's that new mechanic, the the licks jump? Oh yeah. Off that sidewall, getting that flip reset. I've been, I've been waiting for, for someone to use that in uh, a game setting, but I really don't think it's as practical as, uh, as people are making it sound. Uh, I am not even sure I know what you're talking about. It is, uh, it's, it's an interesting new mechanic. Um, the, you know, the players kind of use, you know, you know when you jump on the corner and your, your jump kind of gets eaten by the, by the corner of the wall. Like one of the most frustrating things you have to deal with as a Rocket League player. As I say that, Whale trying to get a flip reset, not able to finish that one off. But instead of your, your wheels getting eaten by, by that corner, uh, instead they pop off of the wall and you get this like weird flip reset side flip concoction uh that allows you to get a flip reset off the sidewall without touching the the ball it's basically like a ceiling shot off the sidewall uh and people are saying like oh it's it's revolutionary it's going to change everything but i really don't think it is as i say that a ball off the back net and vixie is able to finish that one off puts the score up two to one in favor of u-dub and again they're they're at their chance to finish off this series but i mean uh, that, that's what everyone says about mechanics when they first come out. Um, it, it took a while for the flip reset to become popular in RLCS. It took a while for the ceiling shot to become popular. Uh, and now they're, you know, every series you see a couple of those goals scored. Um, so maybe someone will find a use for it at some point, and I, I can't wait to see the day that happens. Yeah, maybe our boys will, will be the first ones to, to put it through. Yeah, you heard the request here. Um, I'm going to need one of you guys to score it. And as I say that, rebounding again, LSU does not like to let UW have a lead for long as they quickly retaliate and bring the score up 2-2. Two to two. But yeah, uh, definitely get on that. Wizard, Whale, Vixie. Find a way to use it in, in a game because uh, I do, I do want to see that. As we place this one out, it's going to touch backboard. Raven not able to read that one. It's an opportunity here, but Vixie with a bit of a miss. Unlucky there. Unfortunate read and unfortunate touch. But that could pinch right in, and Vixie is there to finish that one off. Redemption for Vixie, able to finish it and bring the score up 3-2 to two for UW. Up 2-1 to one in this series. 
Yeah, I mean, this is a really back and forth game right now. Uh, I'm sure LSU right here is gonna. This could actually, <laughs> it actually could go in. It is, <laughs> that is that is unfortunate for UW, but very fortunate for LSU. A tough read if you're Whale, uh, trying to get back to that one and get it off of the backboard, uh, plus being low on boost. And it just works out in LSU's favor, and they are able to tie it up again for the second time, third time this series. Uh, honestly, I, I think that the nerves might be getting to UW a little bit. I mean, you know, I don't know the, the complete circumstances, but uh, I feel like Whale definitely could have gone to that one. It was just, you know, unfortunate, and he was just just off. as you say that i think i think you may be right there a bit of a, a backflip from vixie leads the ball dropping down right in front of net and that is going to be lsu's advantage here in game four but yeah i think that it would definitely be getting to me um we don't say that as you know oh they're they're panicking they're they're really playing terrible because they're so nervous I don't think that everyone can fully comprehend just how nerve-wracking a situation like this is. Um, you're one game away from finishing off a series. They've never qualified for CRL before. Uh, they are, if they win this, they are one game away from qualifying, or one set, I should say. And all they got to do is is win one more game. And with that constant thought running through the back of your head, I don't blame them for being nervous. I, I'm nervous for them. Vixie plays this ball to sidewall. They're downfield by Whale. The Raven with a nice read there, able to touch that one to the side and Brone be quick to cover that ball. Vixie up for this, playing this ball downfield. This could be UW's opportunity. Raven with a bit of a mistouch there, drops down to Wizard, gets a pass in field. Still keeping this ball up three to four in the game and it is gonna hit ground. And LSU has now tied this series two to two. The first game so far that they have not gone to overtime, uh, and it ends with LSU on top by one goal. Yeah, this is a really tough game, and I think it honestly is just coming down to nerves. I mean, we saw, we're, we're just seeing our players just barely, you know, backflip or, or miss the ball. It's, they know what to do. It's just, they're not doing it, and that, you know, honestly could be up to anything. Um, nerves or just maybe they just didn't get, didn't get enough sleep or something you know <laughs> uh yeah i mean i do know wizard can be a bit of a maniac on the field without sleep i think he plays at his best on like maybe an hour um yeah but i think that you're right i think that the the nerves are getting to them um we saw the most mistakes from them so far in game three uh obviously we aren't expert analyzers we don't catch the little things like rotational mistakes and stuff like that but the obvious mechanical errors, they made, I believe, three or four The just that last game alone, whereas in the first two games, I think I saw maybe two. Um, and we, we saw even more from LSU in those first two games, and they have tightened it up. They are making way less mistakes. And I think that right now, like you were saying, it, it just comes down to a game of who is going to make one more mistake. Uh, all of these goals have been one game, or games have been one goal differences, uh, and that's just one mistake difference as well. Uh, the, both teams are playing so solid that when one tiny error happens, it leads to a goal. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's going to be a rough game. Or it's going to be a tough game, I should say. Yeah, um, for sure. And it's going to be an exciting game. I mean, this this is it. This is the uh, this is the fifth game, right? Yeah, this is game five. Uh, it is now tied two to two. UW was up 2-0, to zero, uh, but LSU has their opportunity for the reverse sweep here as they have tied it back up 2-2 two to two in the series. And I think without further ado, we should get into Game 5 here and see just how this turns out. Good kickoff for UW there. Could lead to an early goal, but Raven is quickly able to intercept that double touch. Ajax plays this ball to side well. Whale with a nice shot, but Raven is able to get a save. No one there to follow up that weak touch. Good flick there from Ajax. Grownby up for that one. Whale with a touch to the side. Vixie able to control this. And a good 50 there. It's going to lead in UW's favor here. Back on offense, but Ajax with a big clear there, buying his teammates some time. 
can go back and recover some boost. You dub now on the defensive half. And they are quickly able to get that ball out of their half. Something that we said they need to be working on, and already we are seeing a difference here. Awkward for you, Dub. Wizard out of boost here, touching it down. Whale able to clear that one out. Definitely good communication on U Dub's half. Yeah, there seems to be a big lack of control from, from U Dub's side. Uh, but, I mean, I'm just seeing them kind of just boom the ball out, and if it's necessary, you then it's necessary, but. You have to try to get some control, otherwise it's just going to be you stuck on defense and being scored on like that. Yeah, I think that we just saw it. Um, you, you get stuck on defense and one ball off the side wall, a bit of an awkward rotation, and now you're getting scored on. And that brings LSU up 1-0 to zero in this last game of the series. UW is now fighting, and Road being able to put another one on. The series is now 0-2 in favor of LSU. It's a tough spot to be in if you're UW. You were up two games, and now you are down two goals, and the series is tied. Uh, so lots of mental fortitude is needed here to really come out on top of this series. Wizard with a good touch there. Not enough as Brone B is able to carry this one out, and I'm noticing a trend from Brone B here. And let me know if you agree with this, but I think that Brone is very good at air dribbles and ball control in the air. I think that multiple times so far... We have seen Brone carrying that ball out of LSU's hand and playing it over multiple UW defenders. I say that in Whale with a good read there and a good beat, able to put that one on net. But I do think that Brone is almost a master of that aerial ball control. Yeah, I mean, if you are able to really control the ball in the air, uh, I mean, it's really good. You make the other team... Uh, waste boost uh you can get a 50 uh i mean it's just the air dribble is something that's really really good for your team if you're able to really control yourself and, and do it as well as from b can and it just becomes the game becomes a lot better for you in a lot of ways yeah i think that you know lots of players can control the ball pretty well on the ground as i say that a 50 works out in UW's favor and it's now tied again two minutes and 26 seconds left UW is not going to go down without a fight. They are going to finish the series out on top. But I think you are 100% correct. I think that a lot of players can control the ball well on the ground, but that difference can come from the air control. And Bromby is showing that definitely able to maintain the composure and control in the air. Good demo there from Ajax opening up the field a bit, but Vixie with a great 50. And it buys Wizard some time to respawn and collect some boosts. See with a nice light touch. Wizard with a bit of a misread there, but the fake kind of works out. Ajax clearing this ball out. Big full re field read, but it does not work out as Wizard gets a very heavy beat on Ajax. Well, with a bit of a pass to Ajax, Ajax able to play that to Raven and back to Ajax. But you don't trying to get a clear there, but Wizard with a bit of a misread. This could be LSU's opportunity to bring the score up by one again. It looks like they are not able to convert while the ball is on UW's half. Another attack here, though. Ajax carrying this ball, and a flip reset is enough to play that over the head of Vixie and put them up one goal. An amazing shot. Another one. That's, that's what, four or five great shots already this series. Yeah, I mean, this is a really, really crazy game with really high level players and we're seeing that here yeah i think we're seeing peak mechanics from both teams unlucky 50 there is leaving uw in an awkward spot but lsu not putting anyone on that ball it gives uw a bit of a chance here to recover 50 seconds left down a goal we saw them score with 13 seconds left in game one even less than that in game two so 40 seconds is plenty of time for uw to get a goal here Vixie with two touches off the side wall. Whale plays that one into corner. Brone trying to get the clear out, but it bounces out straight to Vixie, and they have tied it up. 30 seconds left. Oh my gosh, I, I didn't even see that. Why wasn't there a defender in there? I think that uh, Raven was going for boost there. I might have been Brone, but someone was going for that corner boost. 
and uh, they, they just left that net wide open. I also don't think they were expecting that touch from Brone uh, right off of their own back wall. A bit of a, a bit of a pass. As I say that, Brone puts one on. This is dangerous for UW. Whale up for that one. A bit of a bump out, but the 50 in front of net works out for UW. Pass to Ajax. Ajax downfield. Whale has to beat here. A good 50, but Ajax has control. Ball still up. Tied 3-3. Three to three, And it's going to go into overtime. Tied 3-3 three to three in the game and 2-2 two to two in this series. I don't think that we have seen a more intense series from UW so far. Yeah, honestly. Uh, only one game hasn't gone to, to overtime, right? Yeah, that is... That is crazy i mean in a whole best of five series the four games go to overtime i think three of those four games were three to three when they went to overtime one of them was two to two yeah and but all these games have been one goal deficits yeah and the other game was a one goal one goal difference um the, these players are playing so well and it, it, it's just crazy to watch this level of rocket league for this long uh, I think this is one of the longest series I've had to cast with this much overtime, uh, but also one of the most intense. Well, with a bit of a mistouch there, but it does go to Vixie. Possibly a back pass. Run up for this one. A good beat there. Bit of an unfortunate touch from UW, but it looks like LSU is giving up on that attack and recomposing themselves for the defensive half. Whale touch out to the side, knowing Vixie is there. Good communication there. Vixie tries to get the beat, but Brone is up for that one. Ajax ball high. Brone up for this, and a bit of a good touch. That is going to work out off of the pass, reading off of the ceiling, playing that around the UW defender, and it looks like this series is going to go in favor of LSU. Now, unlucky, unfortunate, however you want to put it, but either way, a great series. I I don't think that you could call that a bad series, even if you wanted to. I think that is probably the best series I've ever watched you to play, even if it ended in a loss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you can't complain with that. It, it was an amazing game from both players. We saw so many mechanics. We saw, you know, e everyone just pop off like crazy. It was it was so it was so cool to see. Yeah, I think that that is probably my favorite series that I've ever casted. Um, just the highest level of Rocket League that I think I've ever seen played, especially by our boys. I mean, they played so well. Um, and they they played very well the entirety of CRL. If you were able to tune in to Wizard Stream and watch them play, uh, it, it was great. It was great to you know be a part of the community and watch them go through that first qualifier. Unfortunately, they were not able to... Uh, come out of the, the quals on top in that first set of qualifiers. But we have exciting news, something that is important to, to report on. UW Esports Rocket League team has qualified for CRL. Um, they qualified this this afternoon. They went undefeated in their, their pool and uh, came out on top. This is the first time that UW Esports has qualified for CRL. And we are really excited to see them compete uh, in, in those CRL matches. And for those of you who don't know, CRL is Collegiate Rocket League. It is the highest level of college Rocket League that is played by any of the schools. Um, and they are now in the West Coast pool. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, congratulations to you, Dub. That is an amazing accomplishment. Um, if, if you're a UW player, you know just how hard it is to get into CRL. And they were able to finally reach their goal. I know a lot of them were really reaching for that and, and really wanted it. And they were finally able to get it uh, this morning. But I think, uh, I think that is enough talking about CRL and enough talking about this game. Um, you know, that series was amazing to watch. I think you all know just how well it was played. I don't think we have to, uh, to really talk about just how great of Rocket League that is because you're going to be hearing us say the same things over and over again. So with that... Congratulations to LSU. Um, great players. They, you can't say that they aren't because they definitely were. Uh, they played really well together. They really knew each other. Like you were saying, Kaz, Ajax, taking advantage of two amazing players on his team and really showing the potential that LSU had. Um, thank you all for, for joining us on our University of Washington Twitch channel. 
um, and spending some time with our production crew, players, and talent. It's been a while since I've, I've been able to cast on this channel, so I'm glad to be back behind the scenes with, with Kaz and with uh, our great production crew who's able to keep this up and running. Um, remember, you can check us out at U of Wa Esports on most platforms. That includes our Twitter, our Instagram, our YouTube, and of course, right here on twitch.tv. Um, you can join the Discord if you're interesting. Nightbot and our mods will give that to you if you if you want to join the Discord and get behind the scenes, or if you're interesting uh, interested in volunteering and you know joining the production crew or possibly coming up and putting your face in front of the screen and casting with us. But with that, I think we're gonna have to say. Have a great night and we hope to see you next time. Yeah.